Hello, my good people. How are you? For those of you who don't know me, I'm Serenity Love. And today, I am blessed to be off from both jobs. And so, I decided I would do a little play in some Shop Miss A makeup, okay? And we have this cute headband from Shop Miss A. So, we're going to put this on. So, anyway. There we go right there. And y'all already did my little facial regimen. So we're just going to jump right in with some primer. I haven't even opened this. I opened the setting spray and I did not like the way it sprayed out. But we're going to try it again today. Let's see what it does. But this is the A Plus Spray Primer. The Charity Edition. It says for smooth, even skin. So let's see what we're working with. This is what the bottle looks like. And like I said, I've already did everything else to my face. So we're going to start with this primer. Let's see how she spray out. Okay. It smells good. So got that face good in soap so I started doing I started doing this new thing when I put on makeup we'll see if it works for this we have the finishing powder but I like to, to apply that after I've applied the primer and just pat it on there you know like so Okay, so y'all, I do not normally do my brows very good. But we're going to try with this AOA Studio Sculpt Brow Pencil. And this is in the color Dark Brown. So we got the powder on top of the primer. It's dried down pretty good. Opening this puppy bill up. Let's see. So we have the spoolie here. Just do that there, right but there. I'm not good at brows at all. But we're gonna see what Miss Miss A's products are like. And so this is the pencil. Like any other brow pencil in the world. Definitely takes a lot of practice to do brows. And my brows are horrible. But we're going to make them do what they do. What should I say can do? This brow was damaged in a waxing session. So I don't go get... My brows waxed anymore. I'm mostly doing myself, messing up myself. But yeah, they burnt. Like all of this was burned. A big old nasty scab, y'all. And yeah, I've been traumatized ever since. Maybe that's why I wasn't a bra girl after that. Didn't learn how to do them. Didn't do them. Nothing. But that's as good as some brows get, y'all. Okay, so that was the brow. Um, I'm not very fond of this. It's kind of hard. Um, but that's the brow pencil, and that's what we did with that, y'all. Don't. Don't judge me, y'all. Y'all, I did have this primer that I had from AOA. So, I'm going to say, y'all, it broke. It was, like, broke when I opened it. And it was sealed. So, yeah. That's what that does. So, we're not even 
we're not fooling with that one today i just brought it out so y'all could see it look at the mess it makes so yeah yeah it doesn't even stay on so that was a, a oopsers undercover hd concealer by aoa studios it is in the color fawn so let's see what fawn looks like i like to put her up here it stinks it smells like crayons funky crayons the crayons all the same Y'all, one thing that I do not have from Shop Miss A is your eyeshadow primer. Hmm. I'll just use this concealer instead. This crayon. Colored, stinky colored smelling crayon stuff instead. Put that all over. I feel like a yeehaw. So we got the primer on the eyeballs. But as I said, we're using their concealer, which I think is a pretty good concealer. Dries down really nicely. Now, another thing I, I don't have is blush but it's okay because we're gonna make it do what it do with of course an eyeshadow palette eyeshadow palette will get you the blush you need okay it'll get you where you need to be we're just gonna do all of this make a complete look with shot miss a with the stuff that we got okay this is a shot miss a brush so we are going to do a little something with the eyes, to the eyes, and we want to use the Amuse palette. We have this that we're gonna use for our transition. It's a little dark, but we're gonna make it work, okay? We're also gonna use that for a contour because we got nothing else. So, when you ain't got nothing else, you do what you can do with what you can do. Do what you can do with what you got. Okay, baby? Okay, baby? And so, I said this was our um, transitional color, but we don't put it in the crease. I mean, we're putting it in this outer, outer corner. Why? Because I want to. We're going to see what, what look we can make with the shadows that we have from Sha Miss A. So we got that in there. We wanted the green, the new flower child palette that they have. We have this one in indigo child, pretty purple hues, and in Herb Garden, pretty green hues. Why don't we do a one on each eye? That's such a great idea. Let's see what we can do with what we got to do, what we do, with what we do, okay? Let's see, let's see. Here we go. Hmm, how do we want to do this? Let's put the, the light green up top, like above the crease. Pretty chalky. Let's hmm, tap it off and it's all in the little thing. But let's see. Not much pigment, but it's okay. We're going to just build it up and see what we got going on here. Okay, we just build her up. Till it's solid as a rock. That's what we going to do. And build it up, and build it up, and build it up, and now it's solid. Hmm. Solid as a rock. Okay. 
Okay, that's better. She falling in line, she falling in line. Okay. Okay. Now, since we got her situated, let's try. I think we're going to use this one. They don't have names on them. Just know it's an herb garden. But these are also, they're like really, really powdery. I'm gonna put that in in the crease and on the lid. Crease and lid, y'all. Crease and lid. If I'd have been thinking, I wouldn't even put that other amused dark brown in the corner. We just rock with this four quad shadow shades. We're going to use that dark foresty green color. So, that's what we got going on in the garden. It's pretty dry looking. But no worries. Let's go on and bust it down with the little shimmer shade bring it to life because we looking drab and plain okay but we're gonna bring that to life and put her on the lid let's see how she does with the brush before we use our finger picks up okay just okay it applies okay with the brush not to be not bad at all. But I still want to use the finger. And then we want to go back in and top it. Top the edges. Like re, re blend the edge. But we're going to use that dark green, which we should have did in the first place. I'm telling you, when you put your lashes and stuff on, it come together. Because right now, it look good. Cray, 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 cray. So that's eye number one. Now we're gonna use Indico Child. So we got the little lavender lilac color going on up top. And we're gonna put that up here. See what we can do with it. It's a very powdery palette. Very whole lot of kickback and fallout. But it's pretty purple. Lilac, violet, what you want to call it. Then why not use this? What did I do from the other one, y'all? I don't even remember. Let's use this instead. This purpley bluish shade. It looks blue, but it's it's actual actually purple. Okay, it's a purple.
Mm, yeah, I really, I'm not feeling this at all. I'm not feeling it. We gonna go do something with it, I guess. And then, of course, we got our shimmery, shimmery down here. And we gonna check it out, how it does on the brush. Mm. So, okay, now we are fixing to move to the foundation. Let's just go ahead and go there. And y'all, I have this. This is the Amuse Matte Finish Foundation. I have one of these. Yeah. Let's try it out because I don't even know if these colors this is going to work with me. I tried this once before and I did not like the smell of it. So we're going to try it again. And this is the acrylic mixing palette, which I have used before. Thus, the scratch marks on it. It comes with this, which thus the scratch marks because it is metal on plastic. Thus scratchy. We're going to shake, shake this bad boy up. I don't know. This is in what color? This says 158 mix in eight. I'm not sure. This is a matte foundation. And then this other one I have is a buildable satin foundation. So the color, this is what the color looks like. I'm gonna try this other one, which I have not opened or tried at all. This is in the color amber. To shake it up, maybe. It has an okay smell. Way more pleasant. I don't know. Yeah, it smells like crayon. So, let's see. Are they close? So amber is a bit brighter, lighter. So a studio, little, little pumpkin brush. It's a little pumpkin brush. So I mix that together. That looks really light. Mm, I like the smell. Of that other one. So we're going to do this satin buildable. Woo! <laughs> and that's why you use the thing or the back of your hand even. Because you will make a mess. I actually like the way this one smells a whole lot better. Very satiny. I prefer matte. But it's okay. I obviously did not put enough of that setting powder on because that normally helps with satiny makeups. Well, we shall see. It's not that bad. I think I'm actually liking it. It is not full coverage, but as it says, it is buildable. So let's see what we can build. Let's see what's going on with this building. This one, y'all, it's stank. It's stank. Uh-uh, I can't do that one. That one will have to go in the trash. 
I don't know what it is, but it's, it don't even smell like crayon. It's, it literally stinks like stanky. <laughs> it stinks like stanky, okay? Okay, so we got a little foundation on, which I am mad at this buildable satin coverage in the color of amber. 310 amber. I'm liking her. So, because I don't have no um cons no contour and I like for my nose to look a little bit snatched, just a little bit. We are going to go back into this Amuse eyeshadow palette. What are we gonna do in it, you say? Let me show you something. We just gonna use this color. It's the same color we put on these outer outer edges, and we're gonna put that down there really light, like you say, Oh, that's not light, girl. That's not light, but we're gonna fix it. Don't worry, we're gonna fix that, and it's gonna look all right. Just a little bit, okay? We got a little contour going on, just a little bit. And so, as that is doing what it's doing. Yeah, I don't like to bake and all that good stuff because I find that my lines and wrinkles get to saying, hey girl, hey y'all, hey, look at us. And I don't like that. Therefore, I don't really bake. So, now it's time for the blush, y'all, that we don't have. Well, we finna fix that. We don't want no shiny blush. So, we gonna go over here into one of these little mauve colors. Maybe both of them. We gonna do a little something with both of them. And see what we can get out of it, Okay. See? It's okay. It's okay. I like that. Just right. Just the right amount of color. And y'all, we cannot forget about our um highlight and it be popping. So we're gonna go into this Amuse eyeshadow palette. It's Love Times Four. And these are the colors. And we're gonna use this one up here. Get us a little highlight to be popping because we like a highlight to be popping okay i'm just gonna dab it on for a minute Ooh. she popping too much Well, we can't, we cannot deprive the other side from it to pop like she popping. Okay. Let's go a little highlight. Let's put a little on the nose. You gotta have that nose popping. Don't you got to have that nose popping. Okay, look at that. Look at that. You gotta have it. You gotta have it. Okay. But right now, let's use this AOA 
gel liner and it is in the color black i guess whoopsies in the color black so we're gonna draw that in there on that water line like so Very nice gel liner. I was a little skeptical of it, but it applied good. No tugging, no nothing. I like to use this. I got that from somebody. She uses like things like that to, instead of pulling on your eye. We want to go back into these and what we want to do. What we want to do? I'm going to tell you what we want to do. We want to get a smudge brush of some sort. Got the AOA Studio. Whatever kind of brush that is. And we want to get the purple. And we're going to bring them together, okay? We're going to put the purple on one side. The opposite side. And the other one on the opposite side. So now y'all, it's time for the AOA Studio Mascara. And this is in Fat Lash. Fat Lash Mascara. Oopsies. This is the Fat Lash Mascara. Let's see what she looks like. I think I like that wand. Okay, now let's try her out. Well, y'all remember I got this, I got this in the shop, Miss A Hall. That I never use because I couldn't figure out how to use it. I guess that's how you do it. Like this. You're going to mess up my makeup. Just keep it from getting on your um transfer into your root top lid. Hmm. Let's try it again, y'all. Let's try it again. Let's put some more Mascara on here. See the difference? She might be all right. She might be a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Do y'all put uh, mascara on your bottom lashes? I do sometimes, but most of the time I don't. It just seems like too hard. Y'all, this is really extra. I think I'd just rather have the mascara on my lid. Cause this is too much. Yeah, this is way too much. She be trying to do. Mm -mm.
Anybody ever use one of these? Let me know in the comments. Cause it's too much. It's just, it's just too much. I'd rather just do it like this. I like, I like her. And let's try the bottom lashes, y'all. We're gonna try the bottom lashes. I know you got to make the faces. You got to make the faces when you put the mascara on. If you ain't making the faces, you ain't doing nothing. How do you do it without making the faces? Let's see. It don't even go on, y'all. It don't go on right if you don't make the faces. You have to make the faces to get it right, okay? You have to make the faces. See, you gotta work kinda fast cause she could dry quick, quick, okay? And then we wanna go back in with the finishing powder, pressed powder. And just dab it all over the face. Just just the final dab dab. You know what I mean? As we let the um what you call it? Dry. Dry dry. And last thing, but not the least thing, because this is what makes it what it do. Okay. I have the new um wonder matte lipstick this one is in the color siren siren and then this one is in venus so hmm neither one of them matches us but we're gonna go put it on because this is a shop miss a makeup try on right so, we're just going to put it on, even though it don't match. Y'all know what? My lips feeling a little dry, dry. So, I ought to put on Shop Miss A. Nah, I ain't going to do that. We're just going to put this on, okay? That is what it looks like. It's a very pretty color. Glides on really well. And though it says it's matte, I mean, it's it's not a drying. Well, it's drying down. But it's still like moist, you know what I mean? Like hydrating. For now, anyway. So, okay, guys. I will be right back with my shank on on my teeth. I'll be right back with just putting the hair together, taking this off, putting the hair together, and see what we got going on. And my final thoughts on this Shop Miss A, AOA Studio, Amuse, and everything else that we had. Mostly was AOA. A, a majority of it was AOA Studio Makeup by from Shop Miss A. So, be right back. All right, y'all, I am back, and here's the finished look. We put on some Shop Miss A earrings, and y'all, when I purchased these, I actually thought they were metal, but they're plastic. I think they're cute, though. So, yeah, we got a little dangly zone, and we need to do something to this hair, but it's okay right now. It's okay. It's going to work and do what it do, okay? Okay? Here's my full face of Shop Miss A products. Tell me how you liked them. What did you think of the little quad shadow palette? I Thumbs up for me. I mean, because actually, when you put everything on, 
then it all comes together. So I am truly liking the eyeshadow palettes. Oh, this is weighing in. I'm liking those. Um, we use this one once again, the Amuse Love times four, but we just use this for our highlight. But we also have four, three other shimmery colors that are just as nice and balm. Then we have the Amuse Matte Palette. Um, this didn't have no name. Oh, All About Eyes. And we used these two for our blush, girls. Yes, yes, baby, yes. We did it all. We did it all. And this lipstick, y'all. I ain't mad at this lipstick. It is still comfortable. And it's matte, but it don't feel like it ain't drying my lips out yet. Hopefully it won't. But I'm digging this color. It actually, it did the darn thing, okay? It did the darn thing. So, anyway, tell me what you guys think of the look in the comments below. And now y'all know what time it is. It's time for our nuggets of love. And, of course, we are going to be coming from Power Thoughts Devotional by Joyce Myers. Y'all, this, if you don't have this book, this devotional, get it. It's, it's a great one. It's, it's very good. But it says, with all your heart. So you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And that's Matthew 22, 37 through 38. And it says, when the Pharisees asked Jesus what the most important commandment of all was, he responded, love the Lord with all your heart. You can't simply love God when you need him to help you. You can't love him only when it's convenient or popular. You shouldn't pay attention to him just when you're at church or because you think he might punish you if you don't. No. You are to love him because he is wonderful and amazing, not out of fear or obligation. And you are to love him passionately. That's what with all your heart means. God is good and he deserves our love. Determine to seek and love God with all your heart from this moment on. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs it up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? All right, you guys. I love y'all so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have an awesome and blessed day. Bye.